Hi Mike, this is Jay and Mike, and uh, it's good to see you Mike, you okay mate? I'm good mate, yeah. Um, I'm just going to ask you a question, we went down as a team of four, yeah. uh, down to Hyde Park, mm -hmm. and uh, just wanted to give your reflections on the journey and all the experience of being there, going there, being there, and coming back. Over to you bro. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we went to Hyde Park two weeks ago. Um, on the train, me, me, yourself, Kieran and Maz. Um, my thoughts on the way down to Hyde Park were the, the fact is I knew that I was going to be in a battle down there with regards to defending the Christian faith. But I felt in my heart it's something that we had to do because right now, every Sunday, the Gospel has been attacked, the Bible has been torn apart and our doctrines are being twisted like there's no tomorrow. And I just feel that someone needs to go down there and explain the true Christianity. Um, there is a lot of well-meaning Christians going down there, but the Muslims are tearing them to shreds because it's it's basically it's just a lack of knowledge on the scriptures. Um, I'm not an expert on the Bible, but I think it's important to study enough to be able to answer the questions and to tear down any arguments that come our way. So, one of the um, biggies down at Hyde Park is, is Jesus God. That was what I found, that was one of the main big conversations that was going on in Hyde Park. And I do feel it is a big, I think, I do feel in my heart it's, it is an important topic to address because, um, you know, we're at, this is a big statement of faith which Christians believe in. And what we need to do, we need to defend that. Um, I'm just going to spend, I'm not going to spend a long time um, going into that, but I will go into it slightly, just so other Christians can maybe pick, use this when they go down to Hyde Park. Okay. Now, I did find with, with a lot of the conversations with the Muslims, what they do, what they try and do with regards to asking us questions, they're always closed questions. So they never ask open questions, and that tells me that their agenda is to shut us down and to make us look stupid and in their minds they think they're exposing us uh, they, they believe that what we believe is false and they've got the truth so they never ask questions that, um, where we can actually open up and explain the truth so I just want to briefly say um, if you are at Hyde Park as a Christian defending why Jesus is God and the Muslim says to you is Jesus God, what, what you need to do is to turn that question around into an open question and say, if you really want to know why we believe Jesus is God, ask the right question, which is, why do we believe Jesus is God? So I'll just briefly explain why we do. Okay. Um, the reason that we as Christians believe Jesus is God is not because he's a man, as some Muslims claim. It's because we are aware of his divine identity, and that is what we worship, it's his identity. Okay. Okay, now I'll just unpack that for you today. Um, we believe that the revelation of the one true God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Okay, that is Trinity. Okay. Um, now, otherwise known in Orthodox, Trini in Orthodox Christianity, that's the Trinity. Now, the Bible teaches us that Jesus Christ has always existed in heaven with the Father, co-equal as one God. Okay. Now, this eternal relationship has always existed before Islam even came on the scene. So this is an important point to remember. This has always existed before Islam made any claims on what they claim to be truth. Okay. So I'm just going to re read um, John ten thirty. Okay. So just bear with me one second. Jesus says in John 10, 30, I and the Father are one. Okay. And if you go to John 17, verse 5, if you've got a Bible with you. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had, I had with you before the world was. Okay, so the scripture clearly tells us that Jesus has always been in glory with the Father as one God existing. Okay, 
and if you go to John 1.1 1, 1, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was in the beginning with God all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men okay now in John 1 14 it also says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth so there we see again that holy truth that true eternal relationship now in scripture okay if we go to 1 timothy 3 16 it says in 1 timothy 3 16 and just find it it says just bear with me one second ah there we go it says, and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached amongst the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up in glory. Now as Christians, we know that the one who was preached among the Gentiles was Jesus Christ, seen by the angels, received up in glory, believed on in the world. That's talking about God. Now I just want to make just want to make this clear to Muslims if you get to see this video God it with the God that we serve is a God of miracles if he decided that he wants to enter his own creation through the person of Jesus Christ to give us salvation he can do so a mighty had he did so okay we don't limit God we don't say he's free gods we don't say the Trinity the Father Son Holy Spirit is is separate no that is the revelation of the one true God okay and the scripture is very clear about that okay so the scripture is very clear about who Jesus is and his identity I've got many more passages but there's just a few to start off with okay